Okay, so there was your setup. Your natural path is that way, yeah. or a bit more that yeah. way, okay? So we'll say if that's zero, you're swinging it, I don't know, 10, 12 degrees left. With a long club, it's that. Yeah. Shorter club, it's probably that. Or the odd one of them, you might get to the left. Or if you're really at the top, you get the old shanky one, okay? This one, as you said, felt like I swung it over there. This is kind of set up to your hips slide in there, stay level, and then bring your shoulders back, okay? You brought them back, and I mean, look how non-closed that actually looks with your shoulders. You felt like you went, yeah, and brought them back here. Yeah, so this yeah, huge yeah. exaggeration. You're like, on the side, aren't they? Exactly, yeah. So as you swung the golf club back here, look where that club's coming in there, you see? That was the practice move. And then we hit the golf ball. This is the one that you said I thought was going to go way to the right, okay? Still in the top. Yeah. There, but... look, at the, look at that club there. Oh, yeah. That club now is just about on and inside the golf ball. Some of the shots we've seen today, your club shaft has been oh, out there, in it? Yeah. So that felt to you like it was going to swing out here only because your swing direction in, on this red line, come here, your swing direction that way feels straight. Yeah. So when it's actually on this yellow line, it feels right. way right. Yeah. But it's not, obviously, and that's the frustration. I like, will reel and feel are two different things. So at the impact position there now, you're at that golf ball, I can see your left arm. I can see your right shoulder's back. I can see the chest sort of out this way. As you swing through, it felt way right. It started just a bit to the left and just, yeah, it was a dead straight. It's a small shot, okay? But it's that sensation of almost like that sort of underneath kind of top spin lob. But you've got to get that sensation. You're hitting it again. We don't want to push the arms out to the right, okay? You still want your arms and hands to kind of get this snap release of the golf ball, okay? Because if you just shove your arms out to the right, a cricket type shot or a whatever it may be, you're just going to shank it and block it 40 yards right. Okay, and then you actually encourage more of your right shoulder okay, to come underneath. That movement there you're doing there where you kind of feel like you're almost yeah. this way is the sensation you want to try to create. And if you can see when you do that, your arm just naturally sort of fold up over the shoulders there. And that's more your path. You've got to try and get more into just every part of your game, yeah? Because your tendency with the longer club driver, obviously, yeah. is a cut or a slice, okay? And your way of stopping that is trying to swing the golf club. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. And look how relaxed that follow-through looks. That feels like... Uh, dead easy okay, now without looking at the screen, yeah. how far did that go in terms of effort wise? What's this? This is 7 iron? Say this is 150 normally, 110. 131. <laughs> and side spin minimal. Your push pull was 3 degrees left. It was still left of target, believe yeah, it or not, yeah. but what felt to you 10 degrees right of what you're normally used to is like 3 degrees left. We want to get them somewhere around between one or two to three, either way, okay? But that release power on that last one there where you're softer, that impact move, that move to that left, the hips are going to lead, shoulder stays under. If you hit the ground a bit heavy, yeah. your right shoulder has come in this way, that last shot was, okay. and you come across it, yeah? Right. Even though you might have swung, I swear I swung to the right. And you've got to look at the ball flight, Mike, and think, okay, what's the ball flight done? If you've hit a shot there, so you've cut it a little bit, yeah. fair enough, okay? Yeah. What was the start direction? It was okay. Yeah. So potentially, because you had that amount of spin, your start direction with your path would have been here, and the face being open changes it a little bit, yeah. and then it spins way right. Okay. If the ball is straight, yeah. as in straight left yeah. or straight right, yeah. with, in terms of no seismic at all, your club face is square to the path. It's a straight pull left or a straight push right. If it spins that way, yeah. you may have still, oh, you think, oh, that ball started dead online. Yeah. Well, it did, but your path was somewhere here, and the ball started here, so the spin curved it that way. So, yeah, that was more club face open and path still That's left a little bit. Yeah, oh, two and a half, stuff. yeah, hundreds, yeah. You, you want to be under five, six hundred if you can. Do. So, does that make sense, buddy? Yeah? yeah. So, really trying to exaggerate that kind of impact position. So, the lead hip's going to be a bit more kind of pronounced to target. And the club now, when it comes back down through on this image, I'm sort of talking here now, we want your shaft to be a little bit more kind of in line with your forearm. If yeah. you're doing this with your right shoulder, the club gets steep and outside. So then that wall drill we did in the past, yeah. yeah, so that kind of sensation there. So you, felt, you, you almost felt you sort of, as you said, side onto the shot. Yeah. But don't, it sounds a silly question. Look how you play golf. Which side, where do you play golf from? The side of the golf, wasn't it? Oh, that was perfect. Face was a smidgen open with a strike, and that was great. But you think when you play golf, Mike, you are side onto the golf ball, yeah? So we, we want to be here with the golf ball and chest facing the target. We want to be kind of, this way, I was like a pebble skimming and kind of that motion there, yeah? Okay, mate.